Hi, this is Gary Rosenzweig. Well, Shockwave is back. Shockwave is the plugin used in your browser to play lots of games and other applications on the internet. Let's take a closer look on this episode of MacMost Now. Shockwave is a web browser plugin used to play games and other types of web content. The problem is, while it's always been available for the Mac, it hasn't until just this last month been available for Intel based Macs. So you either had to use an old Mac to play Shockwave content or you had to use a few tricks to actually get old Shockwave to work on an Intel machine. This entire time it's been available for Windows just fine so there's been plenty of content development and plenty of companies have been making things with Shockwave. But finally now we get a chance to actually run Shockwave native on our Intel Macs. First let's look on how to get it on your Intel Mac. To install Shockwave all you need to do is go to adobe.com slash shockwave slash download and click on the install now button. This will download a very simple installer inside of a disk image. You open up the disk image, run the install Shockwave player and it will quit your browser and install Shockwave. Now this installs the very basic Shockwave. So chances are the first time you visit any real Shockwave content it's going to say something like installing extras. Extras are extra bits of functionality to Shockwave like for instance the 3D engine. So the first time or two you go to see Shockwave stuff you're probably going to have a slow download. But after that it should be pretty quick. Now you probably want to find some Shockwave content to test it out. Of course here I'm going to plug our sister site Gamescene.com. Gamescene has all sorts of different games including Shockwave and Flash games. The Shockwave games are some of the ones with 3D. For instance, Freestyle is a 3D music game. You can go to the games list of Game Scene and see some other ones as well. Here's a good example of a 3D game. Move around the 3D maze. shoot enemies. Now you notice when going to some games at Game Scene and other Shockwave sites that they don't work complaining that the Havoc extra is missing. So the deal with the Havoc extra is that it adds physics to 3D games. Unfortunately the Havoc extra only works on Windows and PowerPC Macs. There's a different physics extra for Intel Macs. But it's going to take time for developers like GameScene to update all their games to work with this new physics engine. Now there's usually a lot of confusion between Shockwave and another browser plugin, Flash. Sometimes Shockwave is used to define both, but in fact they're completely separate things. So Flash is content created in Adobe Flash and played back with the Flash player. It's what you see a lot of on the web. It's probably the most popular browser plugin. Matter of fact, it's used to play all the videos at YouTube, for example. Shockwave is content that's made with Adobe Director, a completely different program. Now Shockwave content is stuff made with Director and it's completely independent of Flash content. But the mass media, even other Macintosh websites, go ahead and use Shockwave to define both Flash and Shockwave content. And that's just not right. Shockwave content is made with Director, Flash content is made with Flash. But you probably don't have to worry about it. Just have both the Flash plugin and the new Shockwave plugin and you can play almost any content available on the internet. That's it for now. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.